What's going on YouTube? It's Wilson back with episode two of season six of Peaky Blinders. Last episode uh, was a great reintroduction to the series. Prohibition's ending, so Tommy's getting back into the uh, the market and going uh, to back to London to make a deal with Uncle Jack, who is Gina's uncle. Michael's in jail. Arthur's drunk on some passed out somewhere, and Tommy's daughter is uh, sick with something. Some and saying some gypsy words that we don't. I don't know what. I don't know what they mean, but it doesn't seem good by the way Tommy uh, reacted. If you like what you see, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and. Let's get into it. There will be a war for this fact, and one of you will die. I love how, like, present Polly still is. She's all better, Tommy. Came back for nothing. All better, huh? Glad you're back. Um, what was that all about, right. though? Was that all one shot? I wasn't paying attention. Where's the red right hand? Pick a little up. Maybe they won't play it because he's a changed man. What's that about? Great shot. Who directed this episode already? It's great. Now you know Ruby is all clear. You can sleep. Yeah. Is she though? Tommy. Tommy. What the fuck? On his side, on his side, on his side. Jesus, dude. That was terrifying. Ah. It's the first time. Once on a ship back, not as bad. But it is you, my friends, who must suffer the cuts in wages. Dignity, and you must not complain, because that would be unpatriotic. IRA, lady. The bar. These are letters written to and by Jack Nelson over the last three months. This is a private letter from the President of the United States. Jack Nelson's coming to London. Officially, he's coming to buy liquor import licenses. Unofficially, he's on a fact-finding mission. He's come to measure the strength of support for fascism in Britain. He will report back to the president. Oh. I was gonna ask, say, why is he working with the government? In this letter to his son, Jack Nelson expresses strong support for fascism. In this letter, to a friend in Berlin, he says some uh, interesting things about Jews. He's not going to Europe to find facts. He's coming to find proof that fascism will prevail. And you and I are going to help him in that task. Why? Came to collect Arthur and put him to bed. Found him in Garrison Lane with a syringe in his hand. Oh, Arthur. Is that a yes or a no? My answer is yes. Oh, boy. And by being among the fascists, by being among them, I can undermine them. Walk into the garrison like a stranger and you sit in water. Why does everyone have anything against water? Fucking daredevil. Alright, so he's teaming up with the fascists so he could sell to Boston and make money and undermine the fascists and help somehow. I think. I think I got that. I always thought that Arthur was just fat people fucking shout. Let's go, dude. What's good, Alfie? But last January, poor old Charlie, well, he was shot. By men that you know. And yet you did nothing, Alfie. You need favors, Alfie. I need a fucking final act, right? Just a final fucking act for my opera. I think I may have written your final act. Why don't you sit down and have a listen, eh? I have five tons of pure refined opium. The income would be immediate and would shift the balance of power in Boston back in favor of the Solomon's family. In the final act that I'm giving you, Alfie, it is you who takes the revenge. How much is a ton? <laughs> Alfie's in. Always good to see him. Every night, midnight in Boston, 5 a.m. in London. 
and our souls will come together and we'll fuck. I won't need an alarm clock. She's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. There he is. Piece of shit. Oh jeez. Jesus Arthur. Take your shirt off, give it me. Oh, for fuck's sake, Tom. Take your fucking shirt off. <laughs> give it me. Before I went to America, I wrote a letter. To Linda. And in that letter I wrote, Linda. As a Christian woman, you believe in forgiveness. And this is what I got back. Fucking Linda. I forgot about her. Crazy. Get yourself clean. You stay clean for two weeks. I'll write Linda another letter. Because I know where she is. I need someone to do the real work. Yeah. Yeah, look at your smile, son. Look at your smile, brother. Been so long. Come on, let's see what this bastard has to say. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, Tommy. <laughs> Jesus. The hell was that all about? By the way, I really don't like Lizzie. I prefer liberated Elizabeth. She's been all the way to Paris, so she is a woman of the world. Bravo. I hate that lady. But I have fucked your future husband, so I know lots of things about him. Good for you, Lizzie. <laughs> Before this enterprise goes any further, you really must do something about your wife. What about his wife? Mr. Shelby, it's Nelson. I came early. You? Prussian boy with green eyes. He was already underground. When'd you last kill a man, Mr. Shelby? Green eyes. An aspiration. The oh, setting is amazing. Well, I can give you men of influence who support your cause. I can also offer you a full report on Churchill's strategies. All this in return for access to South Boston? Alternatively, you can take on Churchill on your own without my intelligence. And I can sell me opium to the Jews. Do we have a deal, Mr. Nelson? I'll think a great deal about what you've said. That's Uncle Jack, huh? Timid. Uh oh. What the fuck? Ruby. What are you doing, Bob? I can hear voices. The time has come for change. The people have had enough. Let's open the windows. Let in new lights. Build a new Jerusalem. Brick. That's Churchill, right? God, I knew this wasn't over. Shit. What's that? Please return home, Ruby is sick. It's the gray man. The gray man. The gray man. Uh oh. Oh, it's the, Pr the Prussian guy with the green eyes. Is this what Okay, all right. Jesus. Hello? Tommy. Tommy, she's the temperature of 101 and nothing is working. Just get here now. Is it? Please. Is it? Fuck. Grace, why did that... Going through to the number I gave you. For Esme, Shelby Lee. fuck is going on so esme is that, that was john's wife right why 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 would she know what's going on that was a wild episode um tommy's have been having like seizures he's had three now and he's gonna work with the fascists in order to get his deal with jack nelson whom he met in this episode didn't make a deal but he would think a, a lot about it maybe with alfie we can get revenge on uh, 
I, su I suppose it's the Nelson. The Nelsons? I don't remember what I said. I think Alfie's in, so I think it says one long coup, so to speak. That piece is moving. Tommy's helping Oswald in the House of Commons and everything. And the fascist cause. He said if he gets close with them, he can undermine them, so I assume that's his goal. Arthur was really fucked up and so he told him to get clean and so he could talk to Linda. Um, we'll see where that goes. Oswald's wife or mistress Diana, I think. I really don't like her. I don't know if she's supposed to be anyone, but yeah, I don't I don't like her. Tommy's poor daughter, Ruby. Really sexy and gray man with green eyes. It might be this Prush Tommy's first kill because he mentioned green eyes. The Prussian guy in war that he keeps getting, he keeps seeing when he has his seizures. I, I think that's that might be the the situation. And now he's calling Esme. I don't know why. Yeah, another great episode. Uh, if you like what you see, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.